for you now You got two minutes of my time And I don't really break too easily But I'm worth it Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight Oh everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new in today's video i have some serious cleaning motivation for you guys and this house is a disaster i'm just going to be honest i wanted to show you guys the blunt truth and show you that life can be, get really busy and your house can just get trashed so in today's video we are tidying up the house and if you guys don't know um I currently live in a camper with my family of three. We have an eight month old daughter and we aren't living in this camper forever. This is just a temporary thing. We're not sure how long we'll live in here, but we definitely have some challenges with it. And today I will show you what kind of challenges we have, such as clutter, it getting dirty quickly. And right now I'm just beginning with the dishes. So since we have a camper, the hot water tank is not very, it doesn't last very long. And so I had to really be particular when I wash dishes. So I'm washing some of them, letting them out, just so I don't have to run the water the entire time. And then once those are washed, I'll rinse them at once. Then I'll have to dry some of them just because I need more space to continue washing the other ones. Then I will repeat that process, dry the other ones, and get to putting them away. And I did just want to hop on here real quick and let you guys know about these snacks called Unreal Snacks. And they were so delicious. They are all vegan, gluten-free, low on sugar. And this video isn't sponsored or anything. Unreal did send me these snacks to try out. And I am reviewing them with my honest opinion. So I definitely would give them 5 out of 5. Less sugar and more good. If you guys have not already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. It would mean so much to me and leave me a comment down below on what kind of videos that you like to see from me, whether it be cleaning or motherhood or any requests that you might have. It really just helps me um, plan my videos better and lets me know what to post. But like I said, now I'm just putting away all of the dishes and this is one of the challenges that we have is just finding the space for everything. We actually decluttered a lot and we got rid of a lot before we moved in here but I think I might have to perch the camper again so I was putting away the silverware and I noticed that the silverware drawer was disgusting so I went ahead and took everything out of there and I'm gonna give that silverware drawer a big wash and then I will go ahead and put everything back in there I wanna make a sweat on me. Saw the city passing by my window. Was in the crowd, but I felt so, so how often do you guys clean out your drawers or your silverware holder? Please let me know in the comments down below. I think I just clean mine out when I notice that it's getting dirty. And to be honest, this is the first time that I've cleaned it out since we moved into this camper. But now I'm just trying to rearrange everything back in there and put it where it goes. And I will have to say, um, I have like no room for this stuff. I used to have the Pioneer Woman knife holder, but I took all the knives out because the holder was just looking really bad and it just didn't look good to me anymore on the countertop. So I decided to just scratch that and put all of the knives away in here. And now I'm just trying to place them uh, like in the correct position so that they fit and actually look good. I know you guys 
guys see that drawer down there that's a drawer for another video it is pretty hectic but we will get to that eventually so right now i'm just finishing putting everything away then i'm gonna move to the countertops and wipe everything down there were crumbs pretty much everywhere <laughs> just because we hadn't wiped the counter down in a couple of days dishes had definitely piled up and we did get takeout we have been doing really well with getting takeout we actually only took got it once this week and we actually got salads so I'm so I'm super proud of us that was one of our new year's resolutions was to not eat takeout a lot and eat healthier we're currently doing Weight Watchers and that's doing really well um, I am still breastfeeding so Weight Watchers is one of the best diets for me to do it's just so helpful and if you guys can hear that is Belle in the background wanting to say hello she's over there at her bookshelf just doing her thing I find binkies everywhere around the house and just when you think that you have to buy some more you'll find some so I'm just washing those binkies that were over there on top of Belle's bookshelf then I will dry them and place them on her little um, tray I use this tray all the time it keeps her necessities out in the kitchen and it's so helpful because I don't have to put everything away because most of her stuff are in the cabinets above the couch and it's just a pain to get to every time I need to get something out and put it away so right now after that i'm moving on to cleaning up over at the bookshelf in the bookshelf area this is like our clutter area where we throw shoes we throw bags bill brings her toys over here and it just definitely needed some good organizing and good putting away Let me know if you guys feel like you're constantly picking up toys and it's such a blessing to be able to do this. I just want to look at this on a positive note and if you're cleaning up toys that means you have children who you love, who they love you and it just really truly is a blessing. So next time you're picking up your toys, your kids toys, think of it like that. And next time you trip on a logo or you kick it around a ball or anything like that, just think what a blessing it is to have kids and to be able to pick up their toys. Um, a hack is to just keep all of the toys that you have in the living room in just like a little bin and it doesn't have to be a lot because to be honest those are the only toys that Belle has those in that little bin and we probably won't get her anymore and when we do we will just declutter the ones that are in there and let her new ones in there and that's exactly what we did for Christmas because she got so many toys and we just got rid of the other ones put those new ones in there or the ones that she didn't really play with and now I'm just um, putting a new wallflower in. This wallflower is the apple crisp scent and it smells so good. And if you guys are still watching this far along, thank you so much. And comment down below what your favorite wallflower scent is because I'm definitely wanting to try some new ones out. I'm a kind of a chicken when it comes to trying new scents. So let me know in the comments what your favorite wallflower is. crazy to me that this rug collects so much dirt because Belle is literally the only one that um, plays on that rug and I really just don't know how much dirt gets over there. We don't 
shoes we don't wear our shoes in the house so that's really confusing but dirt just seems to pile up in that rug and i'm thinking it's just that rug type so whenever we get a house i'm definitely not getting that kind of shag rug again that's real thick that's a big no-no for me <laughs> so yeah i'm just vacuuming our entire house this process is a little long but this vacuum cleaner i got from amazon and i actually like it it gets the job done really well i wouldn't recommend if you have deep carpets but hardwood floor and rugs it works so well Already, please go ahead and take a look on my Instagram if you're active over there. I post so much that you guys don't get to see on here, and I would love to chat with you in my DMs. I love hearing from you guys, and I love interacting with your photos. So please go ahead over there, be my friend on Instagram, so we can be friends and talk to each other. But I don't know why I had these random noodles all over our floor. <laughs> so we didn't even have pasta this week, but that was definitely a choking hazard. So I had to go ahead and make sure that those were not in the creeks or crevices. So I went ahead and vacuumed all the little corners under the cabinets just to make sure that Belle couldn't get under there and choke on them. And now I'm just finishing vacuuming up the rest of the camper. The clip of the dirt afterwards is so satisfying. It's just hard to believe that that much dirt comes from such a little space. But I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. It means so much to me. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or if it brought you some cleaning motivation. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Um, introduce yourself if you are new here because I would love to chat with you guys. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye everyone.